for me. It's been kind of a long day, thinking and changing. It's messing up my way. It's that same repetitive routine. But lately, I've been thinking. Uh, ha, why should I stay when I can get up and leave? Am I trapped in my free? Is this what's best for me? What's the moral of the story? Does there need to be one? Do I keep doing music or just drop it be done? I think I found my answer in the form of a song. And maybe that was the message all along. Okay, 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 you gather around, y'all. There's something you must know. When I tell you about the story of Mr. Buffalo, you see, I had a passion for the arts. He chased a dream that one day he got consumed by hate and was carried away. All that mattered to him is what other people thought. So we did some dicey things to get the fame that he sought. The ironic thing is, is that it ruined his reputation. Cause all he really cared about was the fame and the fortune. So we got overworked, trying to please everyone. But by doing so, he lost what made him famous. And then some, alienate the audience cause I guess you got too cocky. When you do things like that, then that relationship gets rocky. You gotta repair your reputation when it gets torn. When you get carried away, then you lose who you once were. Uh, uh, you lose who you once were. Uh. Got overworked, got stressed out. All because he wanted clout. He became engrossed in his doubt. No one heard his screams, even though that they were loud. He became nothing but a shadow of his former self and grew buffalo horns as he screamed for help, being too late to realize what he was doing to himself. Now they mistake him for a demon, but that's far from the truth. His heart was in the wrong place because of what he would choose. So the moral of the story, don't ever lose. Your passion and drive, you just do you. Be true to yourself, and that's how we'll conclude. Uh. That's how I conclude. Okay, 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 you gather around, y'all. There's something you must know. When I tell you about the story of Mr. Pharaoh, he was a small little kid living it up. Big city, South America. Then an idea struck. You see, I met him a couple years ago. Yeah, not too long. And ever since that day, I've been sending him my songs. The legacy lives on through our unbreakable bond. Doing it online, but our friendship's still strong. Got through our tough times, even though we were so distant. Your friends will really help you even when you're so resistant. Uh, even when you're so resistant, uh. Okay, 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 yeah, gather around, y'all. There's something you must know. Let me go further in depth about Mr. Magical. Born into a family with despicable parents, he had to fend for himself or else he might kick it. Cooking for his siblings at around the age of five, he learned to grow up fast because his mom couldn't provide. Was called the CPS because his mother was a murderer. While he was off to sleep, she smothered his baby brother. So he got to work trying to move on from the past. We need to forgive the most when we're challenged and harassed. And through his other family and especially his friends, he learned to grow as a man and be the best that he can. And I can do too. Amen. My dad Thank would always listen always to my songs in the car. My Cheryl. mom would always listen, forgive and support. My brother Tyler. was always there to give <laughs> me a good laugh. And I couldn't be more thankful for what I have. Other people have it a lot more worse. And if they can get the message I can do, of course, I need to be more thankful. My clothes have done so. You know what I'm gonna think of in the form of a song? I've got to try my hardest because I know they have. I got to go my father's because I've been pushing the past. I got to have fun because my friends made me laugh. I got to love because my parents can. I got to try my hardest because I know they have. I got to go my father's because I've been pushing the past. I got to have fun because my friends made me laugh. Yo, I got to love because my parents can. I've gotta try my hardest cause I know they have I gotta go my father's cause I've been pushing the past I gotta have fun cause my friends made me laugh I gotta love because my parents scared Whew. <sighs>
I began to question, have I done my mission? And have I completed a journey without vision? Cause lately I think that there need to be change. Put my eggs in one basket, but I think it paid. And I strayed from that path. I thought that I'd go. I did it my own way, despite what I was told. And I don't need to play a sad piano. Cause nothing's gonna stop me from going where I go. And I do freaking know. That self-esteem was at an all-time low. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for the show. Been working on this project for over five years, and it was all possible, cause the message now clear. I think that I went in the wrong path, made it about myself, and I paid for that, and that is the story, how this album was made, that through faith in my closest is how I found my way, and maybe that was the message all along. So let's finish this thing strong. Did I do it? Did I succeed? I'm not gonna get it my first try But I'm gonna try my hardest I hope that's alright I remember The day that I started I had plans and things got thwarted In that moment I gave up But why do that? I'm good enough It's been five years Thanks for five years I see all the people who'd laugh in my face And sometimes I wonder if I'm worthy of that hate What if they don't like it? Should I just quit? And that's why I wrote this Cause why do that? I'm good enough, it's been five years Thanks for five years I know that this album isn't my best But the more and more I try, the better I'll get That was the message all along So let's finish this thing strong
Uh, I'd like to thank my mom for taking care of me, my dad for being someone I can talk to, and my brother for sticking up for me. I'd like to thank Braxton, Dan, and Lucas for being the best friend group I could ask for, and Neil, too, for helping me with faith. Neem, too. I want to thank Kelvin, Brady, and Jack for sticking with me since, like, kindergarten. I'd like to thank my online friends as well for just, I don't know, sticking around so long and having fun. You know, Lakin... Darth Leg, Martin, David, Jameson, SC, Candy, Cletus, Saw, Dabeen. I want to thank my choir teacher, Mr. Ryberg, and my counselor, Reed, for helping me with school. And music. I want to thank Camden for giving me a chance when I didn't really have any friends. I want to thank the Mary Band, like Lucian, a.k.a. Rufus, Josh, Nathan, Ghost, Aaron. I want to thank my co-workers like Ryan and Lily and Matthew and Bailey for helping me and just be my friend. Veruca and Mason for the Secret Santa gifts. I want to thank Sandy from my old school for helping me out a lot and taking care of me. And lastly, I want to thank Anzalina, a.k.a. Old Turtle Draw, for the amazing artwork for this album. She's amazing. Give her a follow. Okay, I lied. I'm actually going to thank you last for listening to the album and supporting me. I'll see you in the next one. Piggity, 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 peace! Ha! I'm just gonna let this ride now. Uh.